Apple Mail is actually pretty powerful. So if you rely on it for your day-to-day -day communication, let's make sure that you get the most out of it. First of all, I highly recommend that you set up a flagging system to triage your email. Let's say I have an email right here that I'd like to reply to later. I can just give it a flag. And maybe this email, I wanna to reply to it later as well. So I'll flag it. And let's say there's an email here that I don't necessarily wanna to reply to it later, but I wanna have quick access to it. I'm gonna flag that one as well. Now what I can do is click flagged over here in the sidebar and hey, here's all of my emails that I need later. But we can do better than this. We can use different colors of flags. So let's say that we're gonna use the color yellow for emails that I wanna set aside for quick access later. And I wanna use a different color, let's say blue for emails that I need to reply to later. Now what I can do is I can expand this flag thing right here and I can see all my blue flagged emails and all my yellow flagged emails. But we can go even better than this. Let's rename this one set aside or quick reference or whatever makes sense to you. And let's rename blue to reply later or handle later if you want. Now I can quickly work through all of my emails that I need to reply to later and I no longer need to mark them as unread. Handy, right? And if you're looking at an email, you can also in the flagging right here say, hey, this is an email for replying to later or to set aside. Now, another great way to batch process your email other than this flag view is the filter. So if I'm looking at my inbox over here, I can press this button. This is the filter button. If I press that, it shows only emails matching certain criteria. Very handy. This exists on iPhone as well, by the way. Now, if I long press this, I can see the filter criteria. So here I've said, I only want to see emails when I press this button that are either unread or flagged, but I can put more criteria. For example, I can say, hey, also make sure that it's only emails with attachments. So that's really, really handy right there. A different feature I want to show you is that if you get email from someone that you don't want to hear from, and it's not really spam, there is no unsubscribe button, you can actually just go ahead and right click and block that contact. And now this contact is blocked and you will not receive emails from them again, they'll go straight to your trash folder. So that's pretty neat, right? Let me just unblock these guys because they're actually fantastic. Another feature that is handy is you have a very old school column layout in mail. So if you need to quickly browse lots of emails, this is probably much faster than the default layout. Next up is smart mailboxes. If I go over here, I can go mailbox and then new smart mailbox. And so in the same way that in the inbox, you could use the filter to only show certain kinds of emails with a smart mailbox, it's really think of it as a saved search. You can show emails from all of your mailboxes that only match certain criteria. So I'll create a new smart mailbox. And let's say I wanna show all emails that are invoices. I can say, I wanna show all emails that in the subject line contain the word invoice and then I can click OK. Now what I can do is I have the smart email inbox right here and it shows me all emails that have the word invoice in the subject line, super handy. So you can imagine all kinds of uses. If you just go and edit your smart mailbox and you click the new rule, you can see there's a lot of things you can do. You can do emails that you uh, viewed recently or emails that are part of a certain group or something like that, all right? You can get really creative with this and it works really well. Let me go back and turn off the column view. Next up is VIPs. If you're not already using this feature, it's a very nice feature. It's right here in the sidebar. And if it doesn't show for you, by the way, just go here, the plus sign mailbox to add and then add it VIPs right there. Um, and what this does is it shows emails from people that you've marked as very important. So let's say I'm gonna look for an email from my dad and I'm just going to press this little star right here next to his name, and that marks him as a VIP in my contact system. Now, if I go to the VIPs folder and I just clear my search, then I'll see all emails from him and I can very easily refer to them quickly. Next up, let's talk limiting notifications because we all get lots of notifications in our lives, maybe a little bit too many, and you probably don't want to get a new notification for every email. Maybe at some point in the past, it was fun to get a notification for every single email, but I think all of us now get way too many emails for that. So what you can do is go into mail and then settings and here say new message notifications and just set that to VIPs only or maybe only not get notified when you receive an email from people that are in your contact list or, and this is cool, you can choose a smart mailbox. You can say, hey, only if an email matches the rules that I set for this smart mailbox, do I wanna receive a notification for it? So unleash your creativity with that one. All right, what's up next? Next up is smart search. I want you to know that the search feature in mail is really, really good. And it's actually a great reason to use mail rather than some even third party apps that are quite expensive. You just go search over here. Of course, you can search for someone's name. Like I can search for my dad's name and then I can see emails from him, right? However, I can do way more. I can also say, for example, last month and see this pre-suggested things. Now I'm seeing all the emails that were sent last month. Right now it's May, this was in April, right? Very handy. I can also say word file. 
and it says word file attachments. Now it's showing me every email that has a word attachment. So the search box is very clever. Try searching for some stuff and see what it does. And you'll probably find that it's really handy. And it also is a great reason to stop manually sorting your emails into folders. You don't need to do that anymore. This is no longer the 1990s. You can just rely on search to find old emails and give yourself the permission to just let everything sit in your inbox as long as you're using that triaging system that I showed you earlier. All right, next up is a cool feature called follow up. Here's an email that I sent to someone three days ago and I asked a question and Mail recognized this and said, Peter, you might wanna follow up with this person because they haven't replied yet. That's pretty cool and you might've already seen this if you've been using Apple Mail. If you haven't, just go into the settings and you can turn it on right here, enable message follow up suggestions. You can manually set a reminder for a specific email as well. So let's say I'm like, oh, I don't wanna get back to this today, but I wanna get back to it tomorrow. Just swipe right on the email and click remind me and you can choose a time. Handy, right? You can mute email threads. So let's say you're on email thread and there's a lot of people and they're constantly emailing back and forth. It's not that relevant to you, but you don't really want to be rude and tell people, get me off this chain. All you do is right click on an email and go mute and you'll see this little bell icon with a stripe through it. And that means you will not get notifications anymore. Of course, if your notifications already didn't include this kind of email, you already weren't getting those, but um, that can be handy to make sure that you definitely don't get interrupted when you're in the zone by this particular email thread. Let me unmute that. All right, next up is unsubscribe suggestions. So those are pretty handy. Sometimes you'll get an email like from a newsletter or something like that. And you'll see this little thing right here. It says, this message is from a mailing list, unsubscribe. Rather than having to find the unsubscribe button that's hidden all the way at the bottom and very small, you can just press this and mail will send a message in the background, making sure you don't hear from this person again. Next up is add mailboxes to the sidebar. I've already shown you how to do this, but I'll just show you again. Just click the plus button right here under favorites and you can add certain mailboxes. For example, you can show all emails that require follow-up and you can click there and hmm, for some reason that one message isn't showing there. Hmm, interesting. It should show <laughs> because it's this one right here. Hopefully that works well for you. Oops. You can also customize the toolbar in mail. So I can right click here and go customize toolbar. Let's say you often find yourself printing emails. Just drag the print icon over there. Save yourself a little bit of time. There's a cool feature in mail that's fairly new. That's called hide my email. Now this is really nice. If I go and compose a new email, let's say I'm sending it to myself. What I can do is in the from address, I can actually click hide my email right here. See what that does? It says create a random address that forwards to your inbox. Now the recipient, in this case, me, um, oh, that was an interesting error, won't know who the email came from. And instead it'll look anonymous. They can still reply to it though. And the reply will still show up in your inbox. So that's handy if you wanna ask an anonymous question, if it works, it should work. Not sure what's going on. A couple other things you can do is you can send emails later. So if you want to send an email, you know, test, this is of course how to send an email, but if you click the drop down button right here, you can send it later tonight or tomorrow or at any other time really. Just make sure that your computer is connected to the internet at this particular time. Otherwise the sending later will not happen. A couple more tips. One is if you have a file that you want to send in mail, and let's say that file is sitting on your desktop right here. You could create a new email and attach it, but there's an easier way to do that. Just drag it onto the mail icon in the dock and boom, it immediately gets attached and you can fill in the, the subject line and the recipient and stuff like that and send it off. Really handy, right? All right, if you have a paper document, let's say it's sitting on your desk and you wanna send an email and send that paper document, you could first scan it and upload it to your drive, et cetera, et cetera. There's a faster way to do this. So let's send an email to myself again. And I'll say, here's that file. What I can do is I can click this button right here. And if I have my iPhone nearby, I can actually click scan document. Now my iPhone turns into a scanner and I can point that at a document and scan the document, click save or tap save and the document will be inserted in the email. Final tip is if you're the kind of person who has a lot of things going on in the sidebar, so maybe you have a lot of email accounts, what you can do is you can rename them to make things easy for yourself. Just go to mail and then settings and then under accounts, you can rename them. For example, maybe this is your personal account and maybe this is your work account and maybe this is your volunteering account. Just change the description and then you'll see that in the sidebar, those things get reflected and it's a really easy way to separate your email. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this useful. Please like this video, but also let me know what you thought of this video. How could I make it better? What other things would you love to hear about? I'd really appreciate that. And by the way, something I wanted to mention, if you have a team at work and you would like your team to be more organized, 
more productive, to get the most out of the apps that they're using, hit me up, send me an email. Would love to work with you. That could be really fun. We'll figure it out. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Ciao.